so in the last video you have learned what is development length i think uh, after that this is a time to calculate how to provide the development length or what should be the development length as per your uh, engineering perspective or your as per strength criteria okay let's start so for development length calculation first you need to calculate that how much force you have to resist only that you have to uh, think about the length is it clear so if the length uh, if the tension on the reinforcement or the bar is less obviously this uh, development length will be less simply think about the bat and ball case so if the force applied on the bat is too much so you have to grip it more properly for more length and if the force applied on the bat is less you have to uh, provide the grip length less or the less uh, provided grip length is sufficient for that so similarly just calculate how much tension or pull or how much compression you have to provide it for uh, sorry you have to carry for which you are going to provide the development length how we will calculate simply the maximum force which your reinforcement can carry that will be applied on that not more than that how this is the stress strain profile in the last videos i have already discussed so if the strength of this reinforcement is more then the more strain will be taken by this if less the strain will be less so everything is depend on the strength so obviously if i provide a fe250 bar its capacity is less compared to a fe500 bar again the capacity of a fe500 bar is less compared to fe600 so we will assume that this bar can carry its maximum capacity we will not calculate the tension coming to this bar based on our applied moment or applied load simply we will calculate it from its strength point of view okay so how much strength it can carry obviously its strength say this is 250 or 500 or 600 which is your sigma into its cross sectional area that will be the force you know the force means your stress into area so stress means the strength maximum applicable stress is known as your strength okay so there is a difference between stress and strength strength means maximum stress beyond it there is no stress okay and cross sectional area the cross sectional area if the diameter of your river is d it is pi d square by 4 it's clear now we simply multiply it stress into area then your maximum applied force comes as f this is applied on this river you have to now hold this river in a concrete so that it cannot come out okay so simply you provide this is the concrete so this is your concrete okay and within concrete from this to this point you have provided the reinforcement to hold on the bar in place against the applied force just which you have just calculated by this equation strength into cross sectional area okay so now i am going to discuss how what is the mechanism by which the river uh, stay in its place simply when you are applying this force the bond i repeat the bond between the concrete and your reinforcement okay so the river is your round shaped so this bond is provided throughout its peripheral area okay throughout the periphery and throughout the length that means within the concrete this bond strength is provided and this bond strength is nothing but act like a shear force like this okay so the bond between your reinforcement and your concrete okay resist a bar to go away from the concrete and this is provided in the form of shear stress clear this shear stress is applied throughout the circumference of the 
bar. Now calculate the resistive force. Total resistive force means the total shear stress. Shear stress is con uh, constant which comes from your uh, uh, bond strength. So simply multiply that bond strength with the area. What is the area? Area means your circumference that is perimeter into your length. So perimeter is nothing but pi d. If diameter is d, so perimeter is pi d. And the overall development length which I need to find is your L. Okay, from this point to this. So total circumference is your pi d or perimeter into length. So this is your area where your bond stress or, uh, or your shear stress is applied. So if you multiply them again, resistive force is nothing but stress into area. So for now equilibrium, what need to be uh, supported? Your applied force and your resistive force must be equal to each other. Otherwise, we, uh, otherwise what will happen? If F is more than R, this will go away from the concrete. Okay, and if R is more than F, it will come out, uh, come within the concrete mode. It is not possible practically. So we have to equate it. Resisting force or the R here that must has to be equal to F. Okay, so our R is calculated just in the previous slide tau into your circumference area or perimeter into development length and your acting force is your strength this is the strength of the river not the stress mind it this is the strength strength into your cross-sectional area so simply if I calculate L so L come as this pi d divided by 4 into tau or the bond strength how cancel out pi pi and here there is d square and left side it is d cancel out 1d okay so at top it will remain sigma into d and at the denominator it will be 4 which is already there and tau will come there okay so the equation of your development length should be like this now come to the standard code what is there codal value what is the codal value this is our theoretical value development length means strength into diameter divided by four times of your bond strength read like this okay don't memorize or only the symbol or memorize like this strength into diameter of the bar divided by four times of bond strength so what are the parameter for calculating your development length first is your strength criteria next your diameter criteria and second one is your bond strength this is uh, this is depend on your grade of of your concrete i have already discussed in a video what is grade of concrete uh, and its role in the design okay so these are three parameters based on which you have to calculate your development length now look at the codal provision okay as per Indian standard, it is the codal provision. You can see the codal provision and our theoretical calculated equation is same. How? First is strength. This is the strength. Next is your diameter. Here, this is the diameter. Phi is the nominal diameter of the bar. And at the denominator, 4 times of bond strength tau is the bond strength and this is depend on your grade of concrete as you have seen here based on different grade grade the bond stress is also increasing so more is the grade more is the strength so from this equation you can uh, interpret it that if the grade of your concrete is high okay say m35 and if is low 1.4 as it is in the denominator the requirement of bond length is less for 
M35 compared to your M25. Again, if your diameter of the bar is more, obviously length will be more. If strength is more, obviously length will be more. Clear? Now there are certain other criteria for this uh, development length. First one is if you use deformed bar. What is deformed bar? Deformed bar means which have a ribs like this. Okay. This is the mild bar which have no ribs. Ribs mean this provide more anchorage, sorry, more bond within the concrete. Obviously, this provides the extra friction. Okay. That's why in that case, the bond strength increased by 60%. So whenever you use this type of bar, normally nowadays in construction, normally deformed bar is used. So whenever you are going to use deformed bar, you have to use the bond strength by 60%. And also there is another provision in case of compression. We have calculated everything uh, in our discussion as tension. Okay. So if this force is applied like this compression, in that case also, your bond strength increased and this is about 25% why this is your task you have to find this I have already answered about the deformed bar now why in case of compression the bond strength increased you have to research it and please let me know in the comment box whether you have find it and not okay